Welcome to K2-141b, aptly named, The Hell Planet. This fiery world was first brought to light by the Kepler Space Telescope in 2018. Amid countless stars and galaxies, K2-141b was spotted in the constellation of Aquarius, a water carrier, an ironic home for such a scorching planet. Our journey to this enigmatic world is not a short one. K2-141b is approximately 200 light years away from Earth. That's nearly 1,200 trillion miles, a distance so vast it boggles the mind. But the allure of the unknown draws us in, compelling us to delve into the mysteries of this extraordinary planet. K2-141b is a world that pushes boundaries, a world that defies our conventional understanding of what a planet can be. It's a testament to the endless diversity of the cosmos, a planet so bizarre, so extreme, it challenges our understanding of what a world can be. To comprehend the intensity of K2-141b, we must venture closer than ever before. K2-141b is a world unlike any other we've encountered in our celestial explorations. It's a planet that defies our earthly comprehension, where the laws of nature seem to be written in a language of chaos and extremes. Let's delve into the heart of this enigma, its composition and structure. K2-141b is classified as a lava planet. It's a world primarily composed of molten rock, where the ground underfoot is a roiling sea of magma. This is not a hospitable place. It's a world where the very ground beneath your feet is constantly in flux, shifting and changing with the ebb and flow of the molten seas. The winds on K2-141b are another marvel of extremity. They don't just blow, they roar across the planet's surface at supersonic speeds, reaching velocities over three times the speed of sound. These are winds that don't whisper, they scream, carrying with them a relentless barrage of rock and molten debris. The temperature contrast on K2-141b is staggering. The day side of the planet reaches temperatures over 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to vaporize rock. Meanwhile, the night side is a frigid wasteland, where temperatures plunge to a bone-chilling minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a world of stark contrast, a planet divided between a searing day and a freezing night. K2-141b's close proximity to its star and its locked rotation further intensify this contrast. The planet is so close to its star and its rotation so slow that one side is perpetually baked in starlight while the other remains shrouded in eternal night. This is K2-141b, a planet that pushes the boundaries of what we thought possible in a celestial body, a world divided by light and darkness, heat and cold, a testament to the diversity of the universe. Beneath the blistering heat of its star, K2-141b harbors a sea of molten rock. Now let's dive into this extraordinary feature of K2-141b, the lava ocean. The concept itself is as fascinating as it is terrifying. But what exactly gives birth to such an extreme environment? It's the unimaginable heat that this exoplanet endures. The temperatures here soar so high that they literally melt the surface of the planet, transforming it into a vast, seething ocean of lava. This molten sea isn't just a small puddle, mind you. It's an ocean in every sense of the word, sprawling across a significant portion of the planet's surface. Its depth is equally astounding, reaching kilometers into the planet's crust. Imagine the world's deepest oceans but filled with lava instead of water, and you might start to grasp the scale of this fiery sea. But what makes this lava ocean even more remarkable is its state of constant flux. You see, on K2-141b, the molten surface isn't static. It's continually moving, churning, and changing, driven by the planet's extreme temperatures and the gravitational pull of its star. The result is a dynamic, ever-changing landscape of molten rock, a spectacle that truly boggles the mind. And yet, despite its alien nature, the lava ocean of K2-141b shares some surprising similarities with Earth's water oceans. Just like on our home planet, the ocean of K2-141b plays a crucial role in its climate and weather patterns. The heat from the lava ocean generates winds of incredible speed, which in turn contribute to the planet's unique rock rain phenomenon. But that's a story for another time. The lava ocean of K2-141b is a testament to the extreme diversity of environments that can exist in our universe. It's a stark reminder of the raw power and unpredictability of nature, a world apart from the serene blue oceans we're accustomed to on Earth. A fiery sea, a spectacle of nature's raw power and unpredictability. On K2-141b, 
the sky weeps not water, but rocks. Now let's pause for a moment and let this sink in. Yes, you heard it right, it rains rocks on this exoplanet. This is no ordinary meteor shower we're discussing, no. It's a weather phenomenon exclusive to this hellish planet. In the unimaginable heat and pressure that dominate the atmosphere of K2-141b, a spectacle unfolds that defies our terrestrial understanding of weather. The intense heat on this planet, which can reach up to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, evaporates rocks just as the sun evaporates water on Earth. This process, known as sublimation, sees the rocks transformed into a gas, which then rises into K2-141b's atmosphere. Here's where things get really interesting. As the gas ascends, the planet's extreme temperatures and pressures force it to condense. This is not unlike how water vapor condenses into clouds in our own atmosphere. However, on K2-141b, these are not your typical white, fluffy clouds. These are dense, mineral-rich formations, heavy and laden with the weight of condensed rock. With enough accumulation, the weight becomes too much, and what follows is a rain of rocks. The condensed minerals fall back to the planet's surface, not as gentle drops of water, but as a deadly downpour of solid rocks. Imagine a storm, but instead of soothing raindrops tapping on your window, it's a cascade of pebbles, stones, and boulders. It's a shower that reshapes landscapes, a deluge that carves new paths with each fall. This rock rain is a fascinating, albeit deadly, spectacle. It's a bizarre weather pattern that exemplifies the extreme and inhospitable conditions of K2-141b. It's a constant cycle of evaporation and condensation, a testament to the powerful forces at play on this exoplanet. This is the reality of K2-141b, a world where the skies don't shower life-giving water, but instead rain down an onslaught of rocks. A rainfall like no other, a testament to the planet's extreme and deadly conditions. Despite its harsh conditions, K2-141b continues to captivate scientists. The allure of this fiery exoplanet is not only due to its extreme environment, but also due to the wealth of knowledge it potentially holds. Researchers from all over the globe are currently engaged in groundbreaking studies to unravel the mysteries of K2-141b, employing advanced telescopes that can peer across the vast expanse of space to glean insights into this otherworldly landscape. These telescopes, some stationed on Earth and others orbiting in space, are like the eyes of humanity, extending our vision to the farthest corners of the universe. Alongside these telescopic observations, Complex computer models are being used to simulate the planet's climate and geology, providing a virtual window into the extreme conditions on the surface of K2-141b. These models are helping scientists to predict how the lava ocean might behave, how the rock rain is formed, and even how the planet's atmosphere interacts with these phenomena. What's more, these investigations aren't just about satisfying our curiosity. The study of K2-141b has profound implications for our understanding of planetary science. By examining the processes and conditions on such an extreme world, we're pushing the boundaries of what we know about planets and their potential to support life. Consider this, if we can understand how a planet with a lava ocean and rock rain operates, we can apply these findings to other, less extreme, planets. This could revolutionize our understanding of planet formation climate, and maybe even the potential for life on other worlds.